We'll start with Andre Roberson. He's not often in the news on this show. No, he's he not. He is uh, a guard slash forward, defensive specialist for the Oklahoma City Thunder. He actually just agreed to a three-year, $30 million deal. Mm-hmm. $10 million a year. Well, he had a receipt photo that's gone viral. Uh, 25-year-old, uh, the 25-year-old was outed for leaving a tip of $13.97 after going out for drinks with a dozen of his friends on Wednesday. The total bill was $487.13. So he rounded it up to the 500, 500. Oh. but the bill was $487. If Valdez is claiming that he, he has fuzzy math because he rounded it up to be like a total of $501.10. Yes. Yes. So he's a bit of a dog. Yes, yes, he did. <laughs> he rounded and, he wrote, he wrote five, and he wrote 500. Yeah. Right. So his by math the way, you can all... tell he's hammered by the way he wrote the numbers. <laughs> well, on the what tip he's total. claiming. Did you see that? Yeah. Well, he's, he looks... T- what oh. he's claiming is that he ordered a bottle and didn't receive any service. Okay. And so he doesn't even have to tip at all. He said, no service. Now I can see if it was a club. And he, whoever outed him, he said, you reach him, bro. All right, so he orders the bottle at the club, and they just bring the bottle to him. I and guess. Then- yeah, it sounds, like, it sounds like he's at a bar, um, and he goes to the bartender. Can I have that? Bottle of uh, Hennessy that's behind them. Oh, that's what it has, to, has to be Hennessy. <laughs> no, I mean it can be it can be uh, like uh, Johnny Tennessee. Walker. Then you went with right. Hennessy. And and then and then he brings uh, the bartender reaches over, gets the bottle, and just hands it to him. And then uh, he goes and sits down in lounge in the lounge okay. area with his boys. I kind of see what you're saying, but if I go to a bar and just order a bottle of beer, which I've done a thousand times before. Am I not supposed to tip 20% or 15% on that? Just because the guy's, hey, he's just handing me a bottle. I think you tip a buck. A, a dollar if a is a If you go to the bar. Well, I mean, how much is the beer? They go to the a if you go to a bar okay. and you order a beer, there you give a go. buck. Yeah, 20% of that is a dollar. dollar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, what if it's a really fancy beer? Okay. You still give him a buck. I think you well, hold on. It. If you ordered a, a bottle of Grey Goose at a club yeah. and it was fu- it was. Four hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. Are you really going to leave an eighty dollars tip? If all I they did was get, bring it opened and bring, brought you some glasses, I think if I'm if I'm an NBA baller and I just signed a thirty million dollar deal because I don't want my name <laughs> raked over the coals for the next <laughs> right. year, I'm probably going to suck it up and at least give ten percent, if not twenty percent, just because I don't want to be viewed as a cheap. By the way, I respect his signature on his, on the uh, sign line, just like mine. It is. Yeah, just look at it. It's just a that's, big mess. That's how I you can't mine. interpret it. Can't interpret it. Yeah. I, think, I can barely interpret what the total of the bill was. The, the standard when you go to get a Pacifico at the bar. You, yeah. It's, it is? Yeah. Okay. Maybe, maybe it I'm might out be of a touch. Fi- it might be a $4 beer, but you're getting a dollar. So I said a buck. Yeah, a buck. Yeah. Okay. I, I feel for the guy because it, it, he's, according to his, there are two sides of the story. So obviously the server or whoever it is, if it's cocktail waitress, whatever, believes that she should have received, or he should have received a bigger tip. Mm-hmm. You got got fourteen dollars for basically a five hundred dollar bill. Right. But what Roberson says is, there's tweet. You can follow him at Fly Dre Twenty One. Uh, I won't follow. Him. <laughs> shouldn't have had to tip you if it was just a bottle at a bar. There was no service. Now I can see if it was a club. So he was saying if it was a club. Then maybe well they do like the he, bottle service where they right. out and right. give you all the mixer. But if he went to the bar and just said I'm gonna buy that bottle and pour my boys drinks, he's got a point there. He's got a point there. But I think maybe, you still maybe, did maybe, take maybe 10%. Give him, all right, hold on. Maybe uh, just, maybe you give him fifty bucks. Maybe you don't have to give the full twenty percent. Right. But What's getting cakes is he signed a thirty bucks. million dollar deal. Yeah. Well, I mean, even if he signed a five million dollar deal, I just don't. The optics of it are bad. Yeah. For, now every arena he goes into, he's because he signed to say you're a terrible tipper. Well, see, this is a, this is kind of the equivalent of let's just say you ordered five hundred dollars at a restaurant, right? Where you have service mm-hmm. and they come and they take your order and deliver your food, or you order five hundred bucks from ta- from takeout. Yeah. Takeout are, always gets word. I always give that. I mean, are you really less. are you really going to leave twenty percent no. to the takeout server? No, no, you're just not. So it's kind of similar. Uh, Gordon Hayward, of course, in the news this week because he signed a $128 million deal. 
with the Boston Celtics. Um, also viral <laughs> on him. Now, this isn't for a tip. This is mostly just people joning, but I don't hate his hustle because I go to the same place. So I guess he decided, oh, well, he's now in Boston Celtics, going to have a press conference, need to buy some new suits. He's in Boston. Where did he go? He went to Joseph A. Bank. <laughs> People are grilling. I've been there before. <laughs> Joseph A. Bank. Too. I like their suits. Joseph A. Bank is known for getting, you know, three for one, yeah. two for one. Eight suits for the is. price of one. Hey, he drove from Indiana to Utah, didn't he? I think he did. That's he was a drafted. long haul. Hey, is this a small town kid? I guess so. Yeah, he's a regular dude. He will not have a lot of money. That's like he will not. Right. Although Cakes and I were talking, what if deep down, you know, you found out, like a couple years from now, that Gordon Hayward actually was basically living a Sean Kemp style life and had like nine kids, <laughs> nine eight kids moms. in seven different states. I would be shocked, <laughs> but I guess it's possible.